So anyway, uh, we don't do just science. I, you, know, you heard a couple of other things. Here's a piece of, uh, it's sort of an engineering song, but it's also California history. This is a true story. It was 1928 when the engineer Mulholland said the St. Francis Dam was good to go. With a whole year's worth of water for a thirsty growing south land and no danger to the people down below. But a little short of midnight came a thunder like a cannon with a lot of sleeping people. Yeah. 
character is a composite. There were actually about half a dozen women that night uh, who uh, were uh, at their stations as the flood was coming down that valley. And of course, you know, they didn't have LIDAR or satellite view or anything like that in 1928. The only way they were able to track the progress of the flood was town by town was just disappearing off the grid. And uh, anyway, they were not the only heroes that night. They saved a lot, a lot of lives. Uh, but also the men of the Sheriff's Department and the Highway Patrol, they were racing back and forth across the path of the flood uh, with their sirens blaring, trying to get people out. And there is a statue in the middle of uh, Santa Paula, which is a little town in northern Los Angeles County. And most people drive around and by without knowing what it is. It's a statue of two guys on motorcycles with the wheels turned toward the river. And uh, that was a gift from Grateful Public. Now, the women of the telephone exchange, they got a $25 bonus, including overtime, from a Grateful Public. But now they got a song, too, so. <laughs>